All right, so for today's video, I am going to attempt to get all three musk turtles native to Georgia in one day. Uh, so right now I am headed north up towards the mountainous area of Georgia to try those cold water trout streams for the striped neck musk turtle. Uh, following that, I'll head back down uh, further south towards where I live to look for the common musk turtle. They're native around like ponds, lakes, ditches, more still water. And then after I find that, I'm gonna look for the loggerhead musk turtle. So I gotta go a little farther south for that to get into range of the loggerhead. Uh, but that's also another area that I frequently go to. But I thought it'd be cool to show you all three that are native to Georgia all in one day. So follow along, it should be a pretty fun day. All right, so this is neat. Had a little striped neck moss turtle foraging right here. Oh, there we go. This one was foraging right at the edge of the bank. It's a little female. Just perfect little striped neck moss turtle. And this is one of the streams I like to come to because the water is, well, today it's not, but normally it's crystal clear. Uh, most likely because of agriculture, there's probably uh, some cattle upstream or something like that. But we do get this area split into two streams and um, We'll see if we can find an area with more clear water, but right now I'm just gonna let this girl go back where I found her. Right there, she can keep running along the bottom. There you go, see you later. All right, so this next one I had to run and grab because he almost made it out to this deep pool, but look at this tank, absolute tank of an old male striped neck musk turtle. Big old head on him, missing Part of the end of his nose uh, could have been in a battle with another one and uh, just awesome awesome turtle so really cool Whee! there you go he's gonna make his way out to his deep pool all right this guy was just hanging out on the bottom in a little spot of sunlight really pretty looking little striped neck musk turtle and we're just gonna let this guy go right here Ooh, there he goes so tiny all right so right here have a tank of an old musk turtle right here hard to see I'm gonna have to get on the side of the glare, but the, the GoPro is gonna get it pretty good. Um, but this is just a very large, very old striped neck musk turtle. Uh, just kind of sitting here on the bottom. This is typically what they're gonna do is just kind of sit in place and uh, freeze. That's their best defensive tactic is to just pretend that they are a pebble on the bottom. And that is kind of overall, you know, from the top, that is just what they look like. They just look like a pebble on the bottom of the stream. See, she's a really pretty turtle. Nice big jaws. Look at the jaw muscles bulging on the top of the head. That's what they use to crunch up snails, uh, little clams, crayfish, you know, any little hard shelled prey. Those jaw muscles and the expanded surfaces on the inside of those jaws there is gonna help them smash that up and digest it. And they just pass it all completely. Pretty cool. All right, so let's let this girl go. Put her in some clear water. Here we go. She's just gonna take off. There she goes. Out to the deeper shaded section. Uh, probably gonna go up into those roots over there. All right, got one just sitting out in the open. I've noticed this is usually something you see in like these smaller ones is they'll just sit out in the open like this. Um, and I'm not real sure why the younger ones do that and the older ones don't. Maybe it's just uh, older ones are smarter, but pretty cool. He's just gonna keep scooting along. And I'm gonna keep moving because I'm trying to get further up this stream before it gets too late in the day. But pretty cool to just see one on the move. All right, so I uh, stopped at this little stream by my house on the way home. Left the super far like mountainous region and now I'm back down here in the Piedmont where I live. But I figure I'm gonna stop and check out this stream and see if there's anything worth seeing down here. It's pretty small. So this other side looks much better, much healthier. 
So I'm gonna give this a shot and see if I'm able to find anything over here. I do see some stuff kind of scattering around in those rocks. This is not easy to get down to. I thought this was gonna be way easier. <laughs> All right, I made it down. The water has a nice flow to it. Nice, cool temperature. Uh, I've got a little bit of open canopy in some sections. So there's, you know, possibility of seeing some pretty cool stuff in here. Uh, hopefully gonna find some musk turtles. That's always a nice goal to have is to find those guys. Uh, but I'll be, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw like a soft shell or a snapper or a cooter or something in here too. Right, so you can see here, there's a lot more tree cover. I mean, there's just a thick canopy here. Um, there's not a whole lot of light getting down to the stream, so you don't see a lot of plant growth. You don't see a lot of vegetation growing on the, on the rocks. Uh, but we do have, look, right here in the sun, little snails. So that's a good sign. If you're looking for musk turtles, look for snails. Oh, look at that. <laughs> now that is surprising. So that is actually a stink pot, a common musk turtle, Sternotherus odoratus. Uh, but this one is interesting because here it is living in a stream where you would typically find uh, striped neck musk turtles. And I really, when I grasped at it, I couldn't tell if it was even a musk turtle at all. And uh, it was just sitting on the bottom in a very typical, you know, musk turtle fashion. So that's a big surprise. Uh, and that's actually really, really cool. This is an old male and he's actually kind of megacephalic. He's got some pretty good jaw development going on because he's living in a habitat that is more typical of the striped neck musk turtle and feeding on a diet likely of those snails and corbicula clams. So uh, he's got that jaw development like what you would see on a loggerhead musk or a striped neck musk. So that's pretty cool. That's a little bit atypical for these guys. They're also typically not like a swift moving stream dweller. Uh, so really, really cool. I'm gonna get lots of pictures of this guy and then I'm gonna let him go. All right, so I was able to get some pictures of this guy, and now I'm just going to let him go back into his stream. We'll do it where we can kind of see him through the water. There we go. Awesome, awesome turtle. Super stoked I found that. All right, so here at this spot, what I do is there's so much water in between rocks. I'm just shining, and there are little musk turtles and water snakes and... Uh, sometimes little snapping turtles and stuff in between these rocks. So I just shine and then I look to see if I spot any. All right, I was looking for a loggerhead musk. And I got one right there. Went under that rock. <laughs> so there's a stink pot. Look at that guy go. Down into the rocks. All right, so this, this water snake was just so pretty and so red. I couldn't resist um, kind of getting some shots of it, getting it in hand. Uh, these guys are not exactly sweet, but um, this is a really pretty one. And uh, just wanted to be able to show them to you. Let's see, I'm gonna let him go right here. There you go, buddy. Awesome. All right, so I like to come out here at night. Um, this is just a nice, area to do at night you get like lots of different types of turtles but since i'm trying to get all three georgia native musk turtles this is a good spot for loggerhead musk turtles so i'm hoping i'm going to be able to see some and then i can get all three in 24 hours and in one video for you guys well this was an unexpected find barber's map female she was just kind of hanging out uh underneath a rock and really, really cool turtle. Love seeing these guys. Such a pretty, pretty turtle. The Barber's Map Turtle is the largest map turtle. They're native to Georgia, Florida, and I believe even the southeast corner of Alabama. And this is an adult female. She develops that big head because she's been eating corbicula and mussels. All right, so after a lot of looking, here it is, the loggerhead musk turtle. Now, you guys have seen these a lot on the channel, but I wanted to try and get all the musk turtles in one video. Uh, that are native to the state of Georgia and I couldn't have finished with a prettier loggerhead musk turtle. Look at that, it's almost like jaguar spots. Uh, I, I love the subtle beauty of the loggerhead musk turtles. I love those spots, uh, the light coloration, the spots on the arms and legs. Um, just a beautiful turtle, uh, just your classic musk turtle. Uh, and they develop like those huge jaws and you know here in this drainage they don't even get the biggest heads that they get. You know, you get down into like the Florida Springs where they're feeding on these snails 
like a certain type of snail really seems to produce gigantic heads in the loggerhead musk turtle but uh, you compare this with like you know the common musk turtle or the razorback musk and these guys just have you know ginormous heads especially in relation to body size uh, this female has a pretty good sized head and she's a you know pretty good sized girl she's probably going to grow quite a bit more um, in this particular stream i've seen the females get you know really large so couldn't have finished with a more beautiful female loggerhead musk turtle you know I, I was really questioning i was like am i really going to get a barber's in hand before i get a musk turtle <laughs> i was really starting to trip out on that so thank you guys so much for watching this video i'm gonna let this girl go and um i'm gonna take a couple pictures because she is so pretty but i'm gonna let this girl go and i'll see you guys next time peace